in our carry-on versus putting it in our check luggage. And then the last thing that we're gonna look at, of course, are our personal computer systems. So we got our regulators, we have our mask, and then the last items that we definitely wanna make sure is with us are our computer systems. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Make sure you click this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now it has actually been several years since we did a gear packing video and considering we're leaving for Cosmel, Mexico first thing in the morning, I thought, hey, what better time than to show you how we pack for an overseas or say a flight somewhere. And I wanna look at the not only the boxes and the bags that we use specifically, but I also want to talk about why we separate our gear out the way we do, because there's some really good reasons, not just for the simple fact we want to limit our weight, we also want to make sure that we get there with certain items as well. So we're going to start over here. We use the Pelican Air Series. Now, you guys know that I'm a huge Pelican fan, and I've been with Pelican for many, many years, not just at our shop, but with other shops as well. But when they come out with the Pelican Air Series, they really hit a home run because now you can actually fly with these boxes and them not actually be overweight. Pelican Air actually comes in, or the 1615 the Pelican Air comes in at 11 pounds, so it gives you plenty of extra uh, leeway to put your luggage and things like that. Now, when I first opened the box up, you're going to think, man, that's a lot of gear. Well, you got to think, this one box is actually carrying four sets of clothing for basically a week in Cosmel for myself, my wife, and both our daughters. But there's certain key items in here that I really want to talk about. One is our save -a dive kit. Now, you guys know I've got a pretty extensive save -a dive kit. I've actually got several, but I've kind of consolidated my save -a dive kit down to just the bare essentials of what I need. So there's only a couple of different O-rings in here, and I've got a couple little multi-tools from the Marius XLR line in there as well, and they make really good items to carry when you're traveling. You don't need a very extensive save-a-dive kit when you're going somewhere like this because you do want to make sure that you eliminate, eliminate as much weight as possible. Now, as far as diving wear, like what we're going to be wearing is wetsuits, dry suits, things like that, we've really got it down to the temperate of the water that we're going to be in. So there's a couple of pairs of bathing suits, a couple of bikinis and stuff for my daughter in here, but we are actually using either Mares Rash Guards or the Mares Ultra Skin. And I've got one here for my daughter and one for me. Now these are just the tops. Now the cool thing about the tops are is you can pull the sleeves up, whatever works for you. If you do need say a thicker, um, exposure suit then you could carry a shorty or something like that we don't actually need full-size wetsuits so having these smaller items makes traveling very very easy and of course it definitely keeps the weight down as well now with that being said let's move over to some of the bags and let's see exactly what we have packed in them we will start with this first bag here. This is just the Marez XR. I believe this is a 35 or a 40 liter bag. I've had this bag for about five years now. And the reason I like carrying this is it's a dual purpose bag. So first of all, it's a great carry on bag. Number two, it's a dry bag. So once I get to the resort, I can take everything out of this bag and now it becomes a boat bag. I can put towels, sunglasses, uh, sunscreen, um, say extra clothing, whatever I need on the boat that I wanna keep dry, that's what really comes in handy about this bag. Now, with it being a carry-on, there's certain items that is in it that I wanna talk about. These top two sections here, there's two boxes and they both have our underwater cameras. One of these underwater cameras is the Sea Life housing for your iPhone. We're actually gonna be doing a review video, so stay tuned for that as well. I'm actually gonna let my daughter review it, but I like carrying my camera equipment on the plane with me and not necessarily putting it in check luggage. So this bag comes in really, really handy for that. Moving over to the next one, this is gonna be my personal carry-on here. Now this is just what I call my instructor bag. This is from the uh, SSI line, but you can also get it in the Marez version as well. This top part actually unclips and you can take this little mesh style uh, bag part off. But the really cool thing about this, you've got a dry waterproof section here. This is where we keep our passports and things like that. So it makes it very quick and handy if you need to pull it out. Any other legal documents is gonna be there as well. The mesh part's where I'm keeping all our chargers for our cell phones and things like that. I've got a spare towel here. And then of course, on the inside of the bag, there's two very important things. 
One is a change of clothes for both myself, my wife, and both girls. And there's also a computer and a tablet because obviously you got to keep kids entertained while on a plane. So it makes it very easy to keep everything with you that you need. And in the event that our luggage gets lost, we've actually got a change of clothes per person in there as well. So it makes it very handy for us. Moving over to this bag, we're actually going to look at this bag last because I'm going to talk now about the dive gear and exactly how we stow it, but I'm going to talk about why we separate it into several bags. So I'm going to set this one down temporarily. We're going to go ahead and take a quick look at what dive gear we're taking with us. Now, this is just another Pelican Air 1615. And one of the first things that you're going to notice here is the top section has an organizer in it. And I'm a huge fan of the organizers for the Pelican boxes. And up top, you'll notice that there's a couple of roll-up snorkels. These are excess scuba snorkels. There's two masks here. I've got my daughter's mask, and I've got my backup mask. And yes, both of these are backup masks. And I'm going to talk about why that's very important just briefly. I've got some defog in the bottom section here. These are my daughter's dive boots. And then my dive boots are here on this side. And then if we look in the main section, you'll notice there are two, not just one, but two back plate and wing setups. And they are virtually identical just smaller harnesses on one of them. This is mine. You guys saw it in a recent dry suit video I did where I flooded a suit. This is my daughter's personal back plate and wing as well. They both have the soft plate, so they're very easy to travel, and they have the exact equipment that we need for our dive. We're both sporting some flashlights on here because we do plan on doing some night diving while we're down there. There's two cutting tools on both. We both carry the Mares XR line cutters. We both carry shears as well. And then, of course, she has weight pouches on her. Typically, I don't dive with weights. Um, when I'm in a tropical environment. And then of course, both of us are carrying SMBs as well. So there's SMBs on both systems and we have the exact gear that we need. The last bit of gear that's down in here, of course, are our fins. I have my daughter's Excite Pros and then my Avanti Quattro's in there. And you'll notice that the rec sets and the dive computers and all that other stuff is actually missing. And there's a reason that it's missing. It's not that we don't take it with us. It's just, we wanna make sure that those pieces of gear are gonna be with us no matter what. So instead of putting them in here in our check luggage, and running the risk of the airline losing it, we actually put that in a separate carry-on. That way we are guaranteed to have our dive computers, our regulators, and even our primary mask with us. And so I'm gonna show you exactly how we pack that as well real quick. Let me set this down. And we're gonna go through this bag together. Now this is an older Mares journey bag. And I've really enjoyed this bag over the years because it gives you plenty of storage space for different things. You could put passports or whatever you wanted to on this side. But over here, I've just got a standard water bottle. This is from the Mares, or I'm sorry, the SSI Deep, Deep Blue Mission, or Mission Oceans, whatever it is they call it now. But that's just gonna be our water bottle for the uh, boat when we're out on there. These first two pockets, there's really nothing in it. And I wanna talk really briefly about why there's nothing in it. Just a couple little pens and pencils. We wanna leave room for souvenirs and things like that for our trip home. So that's why we wanna make sure we got plenty of room. Buy a couple extra t-shirts, whatever, we can throw them in here. We don't have to overweight our luggage. At the end of this video, I'm gonna talk about how much all this weighs and what we're actually clocking in at. But I wanna leave a little bit of extra room for souvenirs and things like that, especially when you travel with kids. You know you're gonna buy them guys something. So I'm gonna open up the main section because this is where we're getting into the good stuff now. You'll notice that when I open the main section, there is a regulator bag in here. And this is just the Mares Cruise reg bag. And there's not just one, but there's two regulators in here. Not only is my reg set in here, but so is my daughter's as well. But wait, there's more. Because not only are our regulators in here, my primary mask, which is the Mares X Vision, and my daughter's mask, this is the head pirate mask, they are both in there as well. So our backup masks stay in our luggage. Our primary masks are going to be with us no matter what because we're putting it in our carry-on versus putting it in our check luggage. And then the last thing that we're gonna look at, of course, are our personal computer systems. So we got our regulators, we have our mask, and then the last items that we definitely wanna make sure is with us are our computer systems. So for my daughter, she is rocking the Mares Smart Air, and she dives the Nav Pro from XS Scuba, which is a pro version of their compass system. For me personally, I am actually rocking the Mares Smart, or I'm sorry, the Mares Quad Air is my computer. And then I too also have 
a Pro Compass. This is from the Mares XR line. And these are our personal computers. This is what we wanna make sure that we have with us on this trip and we really don't want the airline losing it. So that's why we pack it the way we do. It makes everything very nice, neat, organized. And in the event that the airline loses your gear, we are guaranteed to have the most important items to us, which is our computer systems, our reg sets, and of course our mask. So what does all this clock in at? Well, the personal luggage that we're carrying on, the carry-ons, things like that, they're well all under 20 pounds. They're like maybe 10 pounds per bag, if even that. One's probably not even rocking in about five pounds. So it's very lightweight. But both of those dive boxes are coming in under 45 pounds. So we still got plenty of extra space in them and plenty of extra leeway on our weights as far as our travel goes to carry whatever. Maybe we buy extra souvenirs or whatnot. But guys, that's it. If you are interested in any of these items, make sure you check the description down below because most of this stuff we actually sell on our website. And if you've got any questions on how you can make your gear packing more efficient, give me a question down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer it the best I can. But guys, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. If you found it helpful, do me another favor and definitely share it. As always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.